Welcome to Web Courses at UCF. In this video, you will learn how to schedule a meeting in Zoom from within Web Courses. Before you can schedule a meeting, you will need to have Zoom enabled in your course. To learn how, please view our video on enabling Zoom in Web Courses. Once Zoom has been enabled, a link will appear in your course navigation menu. When you click on the link, it will bring you to your Zoom dashboard. Once you have scheduled a meeting, it will appear here under the Upcoming Meetings tab. To begin, click on the blue Schedule a New Meeting button in the upper right-hand corner. Give your meeting a name and description. Select the date, time, and duration. If this meeting is recurring, select Recurring and complete the meeting information. You can elect to end your meeting on a certain date or after a number of occurrences. All recurring meetings will now have the same meeting ID number, passcode, settings, and link. If you have a course that meets on a regular basis, we recommend using this option so that you do not have to schedule every meeting individually and the meeting's login information remains consistent throughout the semester, making it easier to post within your course and for students to locate. Registration does not need to be required. Under the security settings, one of these two options must be selected. If you select passcode, one can be automatically generated or customized. If you select the waiting room option here, all non-UCF attendees will be held in the waiting room for you to admit manually. Zoom will still allow anyone with a UCF email address to enter your meeting. If you wish for all participants, including those with a UCF email, to be placed in the waiting room, you will need to go to your main Zoom account at ucf.zoom.us. From here, go to Settings and click on the toggle next to Waiting Rooms. Next, click on Edit Options and select everyone. Now everyone will be sent to the waiting room at the start of your meeting. The video option allows you to select your and your students video status upon entering the meeting. While you can set this up initially, participants will be able to change their settings once they enter the meeting. The default preset for audio includes both options. Please leave this default setting so students have the option to use their phone if a computer isn't available to them at the time of the meeting. Next is Meeting Options. Here you have the ability to allow students to enter the meeting before you. If you don't mind students joining and talking before you join, you may select this option. If not, leave it blank and your meeting will begin when you, as the host, start the meeting. The next option, Mute, is preset. This mutes students as they arrive in the meeting and cuts down on disturbances or unwanted audio as students enter. If you do not wish to use the waiting room feature in your meetings, you can add a level of security by selecting the Only Authenticated Users Can Join option and choosing UCF Email Addresses Only. This will only allow participants with a UCF email address into your meeting. If you do not choose either the waiting room or authenticated user options, anyone with your meeting link can enter. We highly recommend one of these options to increase security for your meeting. It's also a good idea to share the Zoom SSO login instructions with your students to ensure they know how to log into Zoom with their UCF account. If you plan to have a guest speaker outside of UCF, you can select the other Sign into Zoom option. This allows those with a Zoom account to enter the meeting. The next option, Record the meeting automatically, can be used if you need to record your meeting and think you may not remember to start recording during your meeting we suggest recording to the cloud. If you plan to start recording during your meeting, leave this unselected. If you plan to have an alternative host for your meeting, you can set this up in advance by entering their UCF email address. Only participants with a UCF email can be added here. When you have completed your meeting settings, click Save. You can now review your meeting details and make changes if needed. The meeting link, ID, and passcode are now available to share and will appear in your course. This concludes our video on how to schedule a meeting in Zoom from within Web Courses. For additional information on this or other Web Courses at UCF topics, 
please visit cdl.ucf.edu support.